Plenty with Brian Sturgis, Josh Willis, and Tim Hall. Because of that one time I forgot to press record. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. No one noticed at all. That's fine. But that's great. What time is secular, so uh, it means it'll make you ill every once in a while, right? That's what that means. <laughs> yeah. Uh, special announcements, but you know, not like, <laughs> not like life changing. Well, kind of. Welcome to Four Life Choices Studio, 1,972.4. Dang, it looks wow. so, so sparkly. I mean, there, is that I, lightning? I kind of feel like that was anti... Uh, <coughs> it's like a... Uh, could, could, could you in a go barn? And add some, yeah, it was cold. Could you add some um, laps? Can you just... Since neither one of you gave me anything, <laughs> can you add claps to feign excitement? Okay? I found I found a um a sample that said one person clapping <laughs> in that sound <laughs> ideas library. So I might be able to pull that up. The internet was installed at eight PM last night. Ooh, oh, the wire. The guy, yeah, after all of that. <clears throat> Right, the late, I'm like, what time is this guy going to be here? I'll get up early. What, between, what, what time I got to get up for this guy, right? He'll, he'll be here between 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. I, uh, what? Again? Well, at least I give you an, only an hour. Of- right now, I will, I will say that that is, a, that is a, a huge difference. Yeah. But it seemed late considering, you know, it was dark out. So the guy had to do all of his work. With a flashlight? With a little... <laughs> With one of those flashlight hats, like some sort of, you know, spelunker. Deep. Yeah, you know, <laughs> but it's up, it's running, and uh, here we go. Because this is another episode of Unnecessary Talk with Brian Sturgis, and I am that Brian Sturgis. Joined with me in reverse order today, just because Timothy V. Timothy Ziggy Hall, the old, the old Zig Hall, uh, and uh, we have Josh the K Willis, the Josh the KKK Willis. You can Ooh. follow him at Wow KKK Willis. That's, uh, <laughs> oh. No one's ever called me that before uh, on a podcast. <laughs> mm, this is great. I, I got to tell you, uh, or you can follow me. Uh, to the gutter, uh, or at Mr. Brian Sturgis on the uh, on the um, on the gram. I posted six weeks ago, so it's because. Oh, so I'd also like to start off by I haven't even remember how I batched my emails last week to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I haven't done it since. So to anyone who so to, to anyone who is to anyone who has written to me uh, about anything and, I, and it wasn't a text message or phone call, uh, I'll get to you some probably sometime next week. So we're we're good. <laughs> Okay. How you doing, fellas? Good. Fabulous. I'm excited about your uh, your new internet situation. The yeah. internet is the best thing, and I'd like to thank this man. All right, Nikki Tess. All right, that's what I call him. The oh, old Tesla. Yeah, the old and Tesla Tesla. Okay, now this homosexual bastard is a genius. Okay, look look at what he created. Look at this. It's alive. Shoot. In fact, we wouldn't have young Frankenstein if it wasn't for Tesla. And that's a right? that's arguably the best uh, Mel Brooks movie, right? Well, this I don't is... want to get into your. Oh, okay. I, it's your, definitely your the best Frankenstein about... movie. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. one of the maybe I... best uh, Gene Gene Wilder. No, oh, no, I got it. No, you got to go really. You got to go really Wonka. Yeah, right? really Wonka. Oh, that's true. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of. That's the thing. So, uh, but thank you for the internet. And guess what, guys? Today is the 22nd of January. Yeah, it is. What a so day. It only took 30 days to get internet, which I think is completely normal. That's a month. Yeah. That seems <laughs> fine. So we're going to crack right. open. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh, twist off. Yeah. Yeah. Minus. <laughs> oh, Welch's sparkling so, oh. rose. What the fuck? I didn't know that they had such a sparkling product and that it was so heavily discounted that better not well, be glass 
the way the way to building wealth. No, but I have uh, but I have coffee in the coffee mug, so it's, oh, okay. it's, it's cool. The way to building wealth is the illusion. This is what the rapists. That's what they get because, as, as you know, I've been in a few rapist videos, and what I enjoy the most is the fake money. I enjoy the oh, that. That's the, not real money. Generally, no. Generally, okay. they don't take out hundreds of thousands of dollars and pass it out to stripper extras and toss it in the air. <laughs> I hate to break the fourth wall, but those yeah. holes will dive in the in the pool for it. I almost swore, but took it back because it's a beautiful day. It's too early for the F bomb. Yeah, we can all agree. <laughs> so let's let's give it up to Tesla, and uh, right. and uh, and you might as well thank Elon for another reason. But the, the Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> What am I looking at? Hold on, let me step. It's my oh UMT my mug. <laughs> it's one of the Sorry. knockoffs I got. My it. eyes melted to my butt. What did I that got? Do? I got it uh, off the street. It's a knockoff okay. UMT mug. Oh, so, as you know, Bill Lasagna and I are in another in Broglio. You got to say the G. It makes it legitimate. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Apparently, he's been taking my images and my copyright material, my uh, intellectual property, if it was, and he's selling and distributing Fugazi mugs, T-shirts, hats, and accessories. Huh, and I, I see what this is. you have fallen for it, and you bought that from him. Yeah, and it was pricey too. How much was that? I'm gonna say I think I spent twenty nine ninety nine on this. And now that I look at it, it's got like scuffs and stuff all over. I think this is a used mug. Well, I think someone's a real one. That's for sure. Someone really got. Now, I will say that now, if I will say very simply, um, I would love to sell that in the merch store. Like exactly. That's it. <laughs> right. Yeah. And, with and the just, scuffs and everything. Everyone is custom, though. It's yeah. Just, Child scrawl. That's it, right. So it, it's, it's the artistry is the simplicity of it is just. Little Sharpie, that's and that's all it is. It's like the Guggenheim, right? It doesn't um, have to be art, you just have to confuse people in tuxedos, right? It's fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Every oh. time, every time I've been to one of those metropolitan mu you know, museum things, uh um I had this guy called the penguin broke in and he went rah, 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 and he always <laughs> takes it hostage. But every time I'm in Gotham, I'm trying to enjoy, right? I'm just trying to enjoy a nice night with the with the lady, and inevitably. Another in Broglio who takes out, and this man dressed as a rat comes down from the ceiling, and he and the penguin, so rat man and the, and uh, and the penguin, right, start going at it. What's well, black and white and red all over? Apparently, the penguin's face after rat man comes Dang. to take the tail, <laughs> mashes him in the face, whips it. Grass truck. Holy wow. moly! Can you hear it? Uh uh yeah. Oh no. You got that SM7B, baby. Yeah, I know. And I do have it on high. That's so funny because right now, because notice how it doesn't matter where you move. There's always a trash truck. <laughs> no one can truly escape the trash truck. The truly wealthy people have their trash can like three miles down. Yeah, but if you down at the end of the driveway. No matter how, no matter rich, poor, in the middle or whatnot. Everyone's got to listen to that that truck back up, smash, smash, clang, clang. Yeah, yeah. Ours is right next to our house, so we we hear it every Thursday. Everything yes. Uh, yeah. It's a Friday, so Friday trash day. Well, who, who knew? Well, we learned something today. Now, I would like to start off as you guys know that I've been doing reviews on another YouTube channel called uh, "I'm Drunk and I Hate Myself," and we review alcohol as I drink it and watch black and white movies and cry and sometimes masturbate in a hotel room. And, and while doing that, I review, <laughs> I review various alcohols and this week's alcohol sponsor is. You can do it. But I just, I somehow <laughs> drinking this made my mouth drier. <laughs> it had one job to satiate and add more. <laughs> yeah. You know, to moisturize your, Jason. your mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we like the, the sponsor this week is Welch's, which is a family-owned company, a fine, fine family-owned company of sparkling not non-alcoholic. Oh, you've been had, sir. Oh. Non-alcoholic. Grape juice oh. cocktail. Oh. How come I got drunk at this and punched yeah. my uncle? 
How did you get so <laughs> drunk? <laughs> Well, it's that I, placebo I, effect. I got my fourth DUI on a non-alcoholic sparkling rosé. I will say, I will say this. Okay, first step. Everyone knows the rules. If you were to have, if you were to save the bottle that the juice was in, right? Uh-huh. And you let it sit in the sun a little bit in the in the and like a juice. Soaked into the into the plastic and that cancer thing because in California we get that Prop sixty five, right? Where yeah. everything apparently everything in California is made of Chinese lead, which is fine because twenty twenty one. I would I'm going to give this I'm going to give this uh, ten out of ten. <laughs> it's delicious. Wow, that is great. Uh, it, it is good. Um, I like that it tastes a little bit like what the Joker fell into. In the 1989 oh. Batman, <laughs> yeah, which means we have to now. I have to come up with a third. Is it DC? Yeah, DC, Marvel. I don't yeah, know these a DC. Give sure, these yeah. Nerds strength, <laughs> mental strength. Uh, ten out of ten. Wow. wow. Well, I'm, but they're I'm a sponsor. Don't don't forget they get they gave us they give us they gave us fifty thousand dollars cash. Ooh, <laughs> right. They said, listen. We know this swill is tastes like a monkey's asshole. <laughs> we just say it's a ten out of ten. And they said, "Nice, okay. yeah." Well, what's good? They, they mentioned not to explain end. it later. Don't explain <laughs> our deal right after you say ten out of ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no. Oh, you are you still recording? I didn't. No. I, I assumed you weren't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what I love Ooh. is that Josh is just like, gotta go. <laughs> 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 not my problem. You hear that? Nope. I gotta tell you, the SM7B. You it's sure impressive. guys really? I gotta tell you. Here's a free ad. Sure, microphones are the are the are the bomb. Yeah, they're the bomb diggity, aren't they? <laughs> you gotta go up on the gain, but but you gain yeah. a lot with an SM7B. Hey, all right. Oh, that's hey, good. Yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. It takes a lot of gain, but you gain a lot. Yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah, you know we. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I wish I didn't sleep with the vice president's wife. I uh, probably won't get that that thing. But no, you know she was lonely after the accident. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, there's a lot of tragedy that follows you around. Yeah, wow. <laughs> you, have no, you have no idea. You have no idea. A lot of Natalie uh, Bruglios, the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I love that band from the '60s. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah, surf rock, right? The old Fender Jaguar and a little bit of Vibrolux, right? What was it? Sure, yeah. <laughs> um, I'd like to talk about one more thing uh, before we go into whatever whatever we're doing today. Oh, excellent. We have no guests because, I mean, at, at 7.53, he was like, oh, no, no, no. In terms of the internet, around 7.30, he, he said, uh, hey, sir. I don't have the best news for you, right? <laughs> and of course, you die a thousand deaths. And uh, and then uh, luckily, another half an hour later, he got it due to all of the different wiring. It was like the kid, it was like a rat's tail in New York City, right? When they're all, <laughs> oh, you know, and then a rat yeah. man comes the down king. Yeah. and he unties the tails in New York and he's a hero. And then, <laughs> but you know what? You wouldn't want to be Scarecrow because you can't hide in Gotham that easily. Right? Oh no, they did it where he just has a mask. I like it when the guy was actually made of straw. Or <laughs> oh, I have this is going off on a tangent, but I have a Batman record from the 1960s that I had oh. since I was a kid that somebody nice. gave me. When I, you know, wow. And it had these four stories, which were which were insane. And one of them was about the scarecrow, and he's made of. Right, he's made of the straw. And he's whatever. But when they made the movie, they made the good-looking guy. He's just like, ah, look at my face because I'm handsome. And I want to yeah. sell tickets to the movie, right? But you know, I don't remember. I don't remember everyone be like, oh, I really want to bang Scarecrow. I want him to be hot. <laughs> right? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't think people. Uh, you know, and why? Uh, so is the superhero okay? So basically, let this be a record to you, fatties, uh, including myself, that you can't be a superhero if you're out of shape, right? There's no. No. There's no, I mean, the thing, but the thing's ripped, right? They did that thing in the Thor movie, right? Oh, the yeah. That yeah. I, I had to watch one of those things that gives yeah, weakness we hope that I can't stand. <laughs> we need a good portly superhero. That's what we need. 
They, yeah, but didn't they? Uh, oh, you know what? What was the one? Saturday Night Live, <laughs> right? Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Super. Not super bad, but super human, something. Yeah. Bad super? Super, no. <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> yeah. So last week I had a little bit of an imbroglio with three Gs with uh, a friend, uh, someone who is, has asked to not, been, to not be named. Oh. But we perhaps all know. Interesting. Okay. Uh, now, <laughs> this. <laughs> so, on the episode where I announced three major life changes, it was one, it was two, and it was three. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. I remember yeah. that. Well, one of my very good friends, let's call him Dick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, Dick. Fuck that guy. <laughs> so, nice blue uh, eyes, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so I'm waiting to see who's watching the show because then I know who truly it was a test of who actually, uh -huh. and I didn't even post it on Facebook or whatever, or whatever, you know, whatever thing the kids use. So I can actually see who is actually watching and, and no one, no one truly <laughs> is. Uh, shout out to Ted Reese, though. He watched. Oh, uh, Ted. All right, Ted. So, all of us, so I, I get this text message from him, right, at the McDonald's. And uh, dude, dude, don't. That's all it says. <laughs> dude, don't. <laughs> dude, don't. And I'm like, what? He's like, I can't believe you. Why would you do this? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, this is kind of a weird. Dude, <laughs> so cryptic. <laughs> so I write back. I'm like, hey, you know, life changes, you know. Oh. He's like, it's it's never going to be the same. It's so you're like, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, oh, okay, this is very odd. And I get a little, a little bit of butt hurt because I'm like, you know, can you throw a congr even everyone fakes it? I was like, hey, Ava, good luck with Adolf. You, you just you you fake it and you just you just yeah, do I'm it. sure that'll go great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no <laughs> I wish I had a dupe. Uh that was my German. I I talked very lightly because I was unprepared and it was a very unskilled accent. And well, there was I, a little bit of clouds. If you need somebody to do some German, I uh I know a guy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You've seen me do German, right? Let's do it right now. Pause in the story for Tim's German accent. Say something from like Die Hard or something cool. Oh, um, Howdy. yeah. All I can like think of is German things like "Der Junge unter einem Tisch" or oh. "Der Junge unter einem Flugzeug." Say the first one again. "Der Der Junge unter einem Tisch." It sounds like you were watching Wall of Flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Like <laughs> I wish it was. I think I believe it is. The boy is under the table. So Whoa. pretty this dark. I mean, you buy Catholicism. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny because um, they have their own city with no laws. Um, too soon. So I'm going to give you, if I may, a fun assignment, and that is: Can you intro the show next week? In German, and I don't. I wouldn't know. I would. You could say this fat bastard is coming to you live. I wouldn't know. Josh apparently is in the last Walt Disney World evening where they had <laughs> they had four hours of fireworks. <laughs> yeah, it's still the inauguration where I live. Oh wow! Oh, awesome. oh, yeah, we don't talk about that nonsense on this show. All right, it was just a lot of fireworks. It was a lot. Yeah. Went on a long time. Yeah, yeah. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about politics unless it's about Kanye. Everyone knows that here at UNT, we are Kanye fans, okay? And if you didn't vote for Kanye, if you're some non-binary, non-Kanye voting, beep, 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 trying to stay monetized, okay? <laughs> then you can go to Hades, get off my boat, whatnot. Yeah, so can you do the German, can you do the German thing next week? Yeah, sure. I hope so I remember. Then, I wrote it down. You see, yeah. No, no, no. This, this concerns me. That sentence is everything that's wrong with other people in my life. That that sentence exists. I'll remember. I'll remember. I'll, I'll probably remember. remember. <laughs> yeah. 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 I wish I could see the record button. <laughs> Doesn't it oh, say? I can if I move it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right I next to it. up there, it says it. recording. Yeah. 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 Don't you worry. On mine. But right. uh, yeah. that is helpful if you guys uh, check it every few minutes. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I, I definitely will. It's the side of the eye thing. Up, yeah. Up to the, the side eye. Yeah. So I get the message from Dick, and, and Dick says, uh, you know, uh, you're stupid, basically. <laughs> so I just politely say, okay, great. 
So a week later, oh, and then he sends me an image from the show that Tim created of the Indiana Jones map. Oh, right. Right. So he sent me that image to confirm that he was watching it. And uh, I said, okay, 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 great. I was a little, a little, a little upset. So the, now I hadn't told him anything because he's busy. He has a new lady friend, right? I just, you know, quarantine, whatnot, holidays. Ah. So Nick says, oh, what are you doing? I said, come up. I said, uh, come up and over, take another left. Come over to the new place in uh, South Dakota. He says, South Dakota. Oh, by the way, I moved since last week. I'm oh, South man. Dakota. Because yeah, yeah. of the internet, I bet. Yeah. Well, no, I, yeah, no I, well, I punched the Spectrum guy. So I'm, like, I'm, I'm not allowed in the region. So that's why they like, gave me that offshoot guy. He's like, I'll be there from 7. Somewhere between 8 p.m., maybe 1 a.m. I don't know. I'll be drinking. Yeah. At the point. Stay focused. So, so I'm all butt hurt with Dick. <laughs> Dick? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna hurt with Dick. Dick. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna need to isolate. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah. yeah. If anyone else said that, I would have request the same. Can you isolate <laughs> that? But write it down. <laughs> write it down and add it to the sound effects that we no longer use. So I was like, come come see the new place. He's like, and I was like, we're still sleeping in the in the living room. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know you can't drag it up the stairs yet. Yeah, well, I only yeah, yeah. I tried several times. It's something <laughs> What is, I have got this thing pressing out of my bladder. It's about the side of the side of a softball. I just keep oh. punching and hoping it'll go down. But uh, yeah, I'm sure that'll work. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Geez, I just you know. But let me focus on Dick. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, you know, I have Ladies Dick on the focused. mind. And get if through I don't, that Dick. Yeah. If I don't get it, if I don't get the Dick out of my mouth, <laughs> it's gonna be. We're we're gonna go and isolate that also. Okay. <laughs> So he's like, uh, I said, why don't you, why don't you come take a look? And this way I know that because he, he's got that, he's got that, he's got that strength where he can oh, yeah. move that and the dresser that I had. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so other than two items, I could get every, I did, I moved everything. He comes up, he brings me a giant, uh, he brings me a very nice sampler of Jameson. He says, uh, here, this is for you and the lady. Congratulations on the place. Huh? I said, <laughs> I said the lady's probably not gonna drink it, you know, because yeah, because of the yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the old like uh, uh, <laughs> vaginal imbroglio <laughs> took place <laughs> that has resulted in the daughter. <laughs> so uh, he said, "What?" I said, "What?" You know, said, what are you talking about? I said, Uh-oh. "You know, AIDS, having the baby." He said, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> he, he says, "I turned it off after." After 14 after, minutes, after you he moved, he got through the first one. Oh, okay. So, so he was busting my bees because we had lived next to one another for so many years that right. he was just busting on me for not being close anymore. But I assume because he's because he watched the the one special announcement, <laughs> one might assume that he would have stayed for two and three. But not even Dick could get through an episode. <laughs> Okay. I mean, especially because at the beginning of the episode, you said there's going to be three. Right. Yeah. He says, uh, oh, he goes, uh, I was going on to you porn and I just clicked on it to have something to listen to in the background. (laughs) Oh, oh, I don't want, I don't want my voice knocking around. Where I say, what? (laughs) What? What? So. He goes, well, yeah, you know, I had it on, so you know, you get that click. <laughs> so he's like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm contributing by adding a view. Yeah, he's lurking. Yeah, I said, you know, she's not, you know, blah, blah, blah. She's not, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so, so he, so he sent the image, and he says, you know, I did, I did that, and then I realized, well, hold on. So then you, you finished. By the time you sent. Oh, first image. <laughs> okay. So that was afterwards, which means Tim Hall, if you could now obviously cut out that middle awkward part that just happened. <laughs> oh, of where course. I forgot the story yeah. or leave it in. I don't really care. Right. It's not coital post whatever. No. On okay. Stick, uh... So here's so, but I, on the, on, on the dealio, what I'd like you to do right now is cut out, cut it all that much. But what I'd like you to do now, please is uh, pull up last week's episode because I want to know how long it takes Dick to come. 
<laughs> oh man. So let's okay. see how long. So he put on all right. A necessary talk, which has a beautiful new intro and with the words in it. And let's see how long it took him to uh to uh to make it happen. Do you want me to just check or do you are we putting this? Yeah, up what do we talk about? That's all right. People know what's watching. <laughs> and if you are pleasuring yourself at the moment, shame on you. <laughs> you you but also you're gonna go blind. <laughs> oh, 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 there it is. Like Indiana Jones. So this is how long did it take Dick to come? Hey, it's not telling me. Tell me what tell me the time. Oh, I think it says 20 minutes. Yeah, I guess it's 20 minutes in. Huh? 20, now I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah, 20 minutes. I like when I do the podcast, I seem to only talk in my open mic voice where I'm like really high up. You know? Because <laughs> okay. I don't talk like this. We're not out at a restaurant. I'm like, hi guys. Hi, this is everything good. <laughs> right? That's true. You, you don't right? talk like that normally. It's almost yeah. it's almost like I should just be who I am. I almost yeah, yeah I just, I <laughs> is that is that's your open mic voice huh yeah you know you're like yeah that, that uh you know that's nervous energy we're out oh, yeah you know, I know like, what you're uh, about. yeah <laughs> hey guys <laughs> you guys oh, you good. Tell jokes. Oh, but i do i do talk up i do I, which is the opposite because you're supposed to relax and a good radio performer uh, would be down here and make you feel it in your song Yes. You know, I should really be down here talking about the latest. Hi. I'm yes. Phil Lasagna's. <laughs> I'm DJ Phil Lasagna. <laughs> heading out from the law here in Quebec. Ah. French, French words, French words, French toast. Um, Voulez-vous basketball? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. If you could if you could do the ending next week in French. Oh god. <laughs> so many assignments. Yeah. Well, wait till we get to the to Latin. Oh, and uh the old um, ancient language of Somalian. <laughs> Sumerian. <laughs> yeah, yes, Somalian. <laughs> <laughs> the hell of a language. Great coffee. <laughs> yeah. So um so Dick, thanks for watching and don't ever do that uh, to the <laughs> show again, Bad. or at least, uh, you know, it would have been different if you put it on and then you clicked, but it's just weird that if you were going back and forth, <laughs> like <laughs> if you could Actually, not, you know, that might be, um, what's that thing that sting does? I think I mentioned it before. Uh, one of these, Yeah. That's sort of, maybe that's a tantric technique. Cause he's like, switches back to here. Oh, well, blows I'll everything tell you down one more story. And then I will move on and be, <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. He's got a sting story. It's, it's it's another dick story. He oh, says, okay. oh. I was having sex with my lady, but I wanted to save it for later. <laughs> what do you mean? He goes, well, you know, I was having sex with her, but I wanted to, I wanted to go home and finish. He said, why? Huh? He said, well, we we had we had already done it before, so we did it that way, and then I want to go. I just you know I want a little ride. I want to do it for, do one for me. <laughs> what do you mean, like by himself? Like a little finish, yeah. So, so wow, he, huh. he he's he didn't want to finish with the lady so that he could go home later, and apparently watch this show and go <laughs> on and do his thing, right? Oh, okay. But wow. This this is what what would Dan Payne, uh, Payne just say? This is you know, look at your friends, look at your future, right? I mean, I got a couple. I mean, I got one astronaut over here, and then I got. Uh, Undisclosed, whatever this. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to, you know, uncategorizable. Is that a word? Yeah. Um, oh, the dash. You dash it like the season. It was a uh, the B side to Unforgettable. <laughs> With uh oh, the one who did the the one whose who dad died and they danced in the hologram. Yeah, Nat King Cole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what, what's your name? Patricia Cole. No. God. Cole Han. Cole. Definitely it was Cole. Natalie Cole. Natalie Cole. Natalie, Natalie yeah. Cole. How, oh, yeah. How could you not? If I saw it on a list, I would remember. <laughs> yeah, if it was written in front of you. <laughs> All right, really? Game. List in a circle. Let's list Natalie's. Natalie Portman. Natalie Cole. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Natalie Wood. Nice. Oh. 
Oh. Natalie Merchant. <laughs> oh, oh, we're saying, oh, are you, okay. So much for the circle. Okay, good. Just keep going. Nat, uh, Natalie and Roglia. That's true. That is one of them. Right? Torn. Natalie Ty. Uh, oh, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, and I think that's it, actually. And that's all the Natalie's that Natalie's. exist. Jesse yes, Pooh, man. Hey. Hey, buddy. Let's do the spin in for. Introduce, you can introduce. Oh. Uh, no, no. Oh, we do. In Dutch, yeah. Tim, introduce the segment. Onel de Gen Technician Vrachen mit Josh Willis. Is this, uh, so we're doing necessary technical questions? Is that what's happening? Yeah. Is that what's you happening? betcha. All right. Oh, uh, well, uh, uh, Tim, I, I, got a, I got one for you today. Um, you know, so this room that I'm in is pretty small. It's not, it's not too echoey. Right, I mean, but you can't really tell because it's because of the mic. Oh, but, fireworks, yeah, yeah, and the fireworks in the background. I've got, I've got them muted, you know. Like there's some uh, uh, <laughs> those those high tech Halliburton exactly. right. based non noise right. fireworks. Yeah, I get it. Purely. But visual. if I wanted to, if I wanted to cool down the room noise in this place, what 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 should I put on the walls or what, what should I do? What I like to do is I build, uh, well, like that thing that's behind me with the Mandela on it. Let me get into yeah. proper. Uh, that's a one by four frame that I've made. So it's four inches thick, one inch, you know, make the frame. Then I staple the, uh, that tapestry on the front. Then I fill the back with, I think it's called IntelliTouch. It's recycled blue jeans. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. What? <laughs> you, re- you use recycled blue jeans. Yeah, it's an installation. I, I, I kind of really want to see. But it. what about all of what these poor people that need blue jeans? <clears throat> they yeah. don't get them. They don't. Get oh, they don't want these blue jeans. Jeans that go would go to a third world country, yeah. and now you're sticking them to make sound or to soak up sound. Yeah, some so kids got cold knees because you need to soak up the highs. This so, seems wrong. This is a broadband. Wanted... Uh, this is broadband. Uh, so broadband. It's, uh, what does that it's, mean? It's, it's uh, like if you buy the foam, yeah. which you can see uh, okay. uh, 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 that stuff no. up there on the ceiling. That um, only takes away the highs. It's not very thick. But if you get something uh, thicker and you get some distance between the wall, you know, if you were to set the broadband absorber and then you had a plug or like a, some sort of spacer, then you have the wall. Then you're getting rid of some lows, baby. Facet. So I could turn my old blue jeans into uh, something to silence the screams from this room. Is that? I don't know if. Uh, is it just? It's not outgoing who, sound. Who's the it's one just, screaming? Is it you or the? <laughs> it's you the victim? Not, it's not really important. I don't know. I don't is this one of these uh, things where you, know. you tip a blonde woman <laughs> online and you're like, you know, call me dog shit or whatever? Yes, sometimes I like to. <laughs> Sometimes I just like I like to turn up the volume on this show while I'm watching it, you know. I while I'm watching it on YouTube and there's some screaming. It's people people the neighbors upstairs, they get a little upset, you know. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you don't so, think shame here. Yeah, whatever, I mean, whatever whatever gets you off, Willis. What huh? it's gonna do, it's just gonna tame the the frequencies. It it won't uh keep sound from going out of the room. That's okay. a whole nother okay. matter. It's just, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it'll just All take right. away the echoes and... Uh, just take away the echoes. Yeah. So why do you want that? That's fascinating. Well, in case I in case I want to record something without any echoes, no, no. I think... I'm, you know. I'm sorry, Dr. Willis. Oh, oh, this is for me? Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but why... Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, but why, Brian's but... necessary technical <laughs> questions. <laughs> oh, I do, I do actually have one this week. <laughs> but why would you do that? Why only get rid of the highs if the versus... Josh's question about just reducing sound overall. Why have you just reduced the highs as a mixer? Oh no, I've done all of it. That's what those are broadband ones. Uh, that so you're mixed. So you you got you got your highs, your lows, you're covered. Yeah, except so for the you, low lows. I can't get rid of the low lows. But that but the, the I noticed you had them like oh. almost the the foam like almost right overhead. Yeah, that's the cloud. The cloud. <laughs> That keeps uh, reflections, those okay. keeps early reflections from the speakers yeah. coming down. Yeah. 
Ow. Wow. It's punched my light. It's, it's fast. The light falls, <laughs> sets the foam on fire, you know. Yeah. It's just your wife That's and great. it burned out thing. But you still but the but the sheer SM seven B still going. Still <laughs> recording. A fine, fine company. <laughs> Okay, so Brian, uh, so last week you scolded me for making you work during this <laughs> bit. So, so this time I'm going to make it really easy for you. Okay. It's just a yes or no question. Okay. <laughs> just yes or no. Okay. So uh, when I was in college, I was dating this girl uh, who lived in New York. And over the summer, I went to, uh, I went to New York to visit her. And her family, they love to go to Atlantic City. So they... We, we all piled in the car and we went down to Atlantic City. Now I wasn't 21 at the time. So uh, I didn't really, we didn't really hang out in the casinos. Me and me and my girlfriend at the time, uh, you know, we'll, we'll call her uh, Becky and uh, <laughs> wasn't her real name, but Old anyway, Becky. so me and Becky, so she tells me, uh, uh, so we're walking up and down the boardwalk and we go, uh, we go to um, the pier. And as we're walking out on the pier, she tells me, uh, yeah, that her dad is really great at winning like these carnival games, which are all set up on the end of the pier. So she sets this expectation, you know, you, you're going to win me a, you're going to, you're going to win me a doll right now. I know all these things are rigged and you can't win with, unless you'd spend like a huge amount of money. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Cause she's expecting the, you know, yeah, the and you're trophy trying or to whatever. Do right. What? Yeah. Boys do. So I'm walking, I'm walking around and I, I walk past this guy and, and he says, Hey buddy, uh, you want to get, you want a free throw? And I was like, I looked at the game and it was something with a basket and a ball. You gotta throw it into it. I'm like, ah, you know, I don't know. So I kept walking and the guy's like, no, dude, my friend here, he tells me, he tell, he's telling me he's going to give you a free throw. <laughs> All right. So I was like, okay, I walk over, I throw, I try to throw the ball. And, uh, and I miss, and I'm like, Oh, sorry guys. All right. See you later. So I start to leave. He's like, no, 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 no. That didn't count. Then you try again. So I throw it and I make, he's like, all right, so here's how the game works. So you got to make it in the basket 10 times. And if you make it 10 <laughs> times, right, we will not only give you the biggest prize over there, we'll give you all your money back. And I was like, all right, well, I'll, I'll, I'll try it. And he's like, you don't have to, as long as you keep making it, you don't have to pay anything. So to try again. So I made like four more in a row. So I was up to five. Now I've made five baskets. Uh, and then I missed number six. And so the guy says, uh, okay, if you want to keep going, it's going to be $1. And I'm like, all right, this is a pretty good deal. It's a dollar a throw. I'll just, I'll just go till I make it. Right. How, how many times could I miss? Right. So I throw a couple more, I get up to about seven and then I miss one. He's like, oh man, you're so close. And so I, I go to hand the guy a dollar. He's like, no, that's going to be $2 now. That's right. So it was like a geometric progression. So every time you lose, you double, right? So I'm up to like, your, exactly, I'm up to like age. nine. I got nine bad. I only need one more. I've given the guy like $62, $64. <laughs> All right. I miss. And then my girlfriend comes back. Okay. So my girlfriend comes back and I'm like, I just need $128 <laughs> and then I can make this and I'll get the, I'll get you your prize and I'll get all my money back. He said, I get all my money back. And instantly my girlfriend hears the situation and she just bursts into tears. She's just like weeping, just crying. Like, ah, I can't believe you lost all your money. And she's right. And, 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 and it was the most uh, fascinating thing. So the carny guy, he stops and he goes, okay. He's like, all right, all right, stop crying, stop crying. And she's like, ah, right? And the carny guy says, uh, all right, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all your money back. You kids, get off this pier. Don't play any more of these games and get out of my sight. So he hands me my 60 whatever dollars and my girlfriend instantly stops crying and we run off the pier. And so my question to you, Brian, uh, was that guy a con artist? Yeah, yeah. Is that a yes? It's a simple yes or no question. Uh, I thought you were frozen there for a minute. <laughs> a, I think that's a yes. This has been Necessary Technical Questions with Josh Willis, a wholly owned subsidiary of Unnecessary Talk and Poor Life Choices Productions. That is interesting that he gave you, that is unlike the carnies I know. Right. Uh, and you so, know a lot of carnies. 
Well, <laughs> you me. You don't own a lumberjack company without meeting a bearded lady. I don't know. I'm sure it's something, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why a lumberjack company. It's just, it's actually a union. That's interesting. I'm surprised he gave you the money back. I was surprised too. He, he ran yeah. us off, but you know, he gave it back to us. You know, maybe he thought the tears were real. Runaway daughter, who's also in another <laughs> circus. He didn't follow in his in her father's footsteps of uh, the circus. He's like, I'm going to Ringham Brothers. <laughs> they got those elephants, right? That's thing. right. Yeah, the old Ringham Brothers. Yeah. The Ringham. That's brothers. interesting. The old uh, uh, Ringham and Rollum. The old Ringamorosis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, interesting. I, I think he was a nice guy. That's. Uh, yeah, that, I, I think that's unusual. Usually, right. they just laugh at you. Yeah, yeah. And it say, it actually bothers here. me that he gave you the money back. Is the worst <laughs> part. Is that what I? That's all I can think about. Is like, why would he do that? Like, he, you. Why won. would he do that? You yeah. learned nothing. Yeah. Well, he right. he could he could probably tell that for you for you kids. I mean, yeah, obviously, sounds like he was yeah. a good person. You might want to check the bills. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if they feel a little soft and paper like compared to their previous yeah. ones, then yeah. Well, everybody was starting. It was it was becoming a scene. It was definitely becoming a scene. Like you know, he. So you were costing him business. I think that's what. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, People now were, I get. It. All right. So from yeah. a, let's let's because it's all about money. Yeah. So, right. so some broad, um, some young woman. Let's call her yeah. a broad. So some yeah. broad's <laughs> crying. <laughs> At the carnival thing, and he's like, uh, "This is not looking good for other people giving me money." <laughs> yeah. Right, so right. If, if there, yeah. if people were looking, then it was a, it was a shrewd, Max Shrek, yeah. oh. like business choice. Oh, <laughs> see what I, I did there? I'm gonna look that up because I have no idea who Max yeah, Shrek is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's... Willis got it right. Is he is he related to Tesla or something? Or. <laughs> I bet he's one of them financial advisor mm. peoples. Well, kind of. He was, you guys don't know who Max Shrek? Max Shrek was uh, in Batman Returns. That was Christopher oh. Walken's character. Oh. Was, oh. No, oh that's yeah. Nicely yeah. done. Yeah. That huh? was good. I sh I sh we should have gotten it. Market. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Market. Successful comedy of threes. Huh. <laughs> there it was. Let's rock these videos. Now, now let me ask you a question, Tim Hall. Yes. Will we be seeing new videos or will we be seeing <laughs> videos we've previously seen commented on and we're going to watch again in a joyless, suckless, <laughs> you know, like that Sunday, that Sunday second matinee show where you just don't have it in you anymore and you just want to get drunk in the parking lot of the theater, you know? Well, we could do some other things. Surprise me. Okay. Because again, I've had internet now for 14 hours, and I was sleeping for most of them. <laughs> so, you, so you haven't really had time to properly use the internet, right? Yeah, yeah, you Correct. haven't enjoyed it yet. Like, you no, know, I, like I haven't. I haven't checked my email. Right. I mean, oh, it could oh, be. Right. I mean, I haven't done anything. I need to actually. Hopefully, this one doesn't have uh, a hit song on it. I need some more. All right, it does. Okay. <laughs> Oh, she. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, money can buy happiness. To everyone out there who is struggling and thinking, I wouldn't be happier if I had more money. I want you to look at that man's face. <laughs> <laughs> it is that true, man dude. worked at some bullshit insurance company, and he wore his khakis nine to five, and his wife. Finally passed, and he's like, "I'm taking the money, and I'm getting me, I'm getting me an updated, you know, non." What's great is because, like, when she yells at him, he's probably like, "Oh, I'm so hard for you right now." Like, I don't know what you're saying to me. I can tell that you're angry, but uh, you know, but it's nice that uh, it's nice to see that you can still get good deals online, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe you had a coupon. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, here's a question. Yes. If you had to get a mail order bride, what age and what country would you get? <laughs> You're like forced oh. to. We're like forced to. At gunpoint, we're forced to. Sure. There's no you way out of this. Just previously at a diner about this, but that's fine. Go ahead. Uh, I would go. 
Would I even care what country? Um, you're just happy to. So you're more about the the, the age. <laughs> the age is what's important to you. There's, well, there's, you're twisting your my 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 words <laughs> there. Brought to you by feminism. Yeah, I would say I would want somebody fairly close to my age, just for. Uh, you're like the guy who went to the 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 <laughs> the game at the fair. You're just giving it away. You know, you're giving these opportunities. You know, some somewhere between thirty and my age. That's a <laughs> wide swath, right? Okay, you're forty-four. Yeah. Okay, so thirty. Okay, I think that's reasonable. I know you want to say twenty-nine. Like I know, I know you want to say twenty-nine. <laughs> no. But so so, so 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 you wouldn't so 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 you'd say no, right? At the twenty-nine, you're like ah, you're too much, too young for me. <laughs> Well, it depends. All it depends on the the if uh, the intelligence and and what have you. She don't speak nothing, Tim. Okay, she, she spends most of the day being like, "Look at all these lights," you know, like. Oh, well, that's you know not I mean? cool. She's just amazing. You're like, she walked to the bathroom and she turned this thing, and water just came from it. <laughs> okay, okay. And then went down a drain in which. It's just gone forever. So, so w- w- is this like a time travel uh, mail order bride? <laughs> no. <laughs> do we I don't get know. that from the? Uh, do you think 1800s? everyone? Do you think everyone has toilets, Tim? Do you? Do well, you, in some form is of your a white toilet. privilege um, blinded you from the realities of of um, of other places in this world? Well, I haven't been anywhere else. I've been to Canada, <laughs> and they had plenty of toilets. Yeah, they, I almost I almost found that Canada had too many toilets. Like yeah, yeah. every restroom, I'm like damn, look. <laughs> every time I went to a bathroom, damn, there's another they toilet. They were stacked on top of each other. It made no sense. Yeah. So when Nothing. you're searching, so when you go to like mail order dot org, it's a nonprofit I set up for these girls. Okay, that benefits me financially. Yeah. Do you have a thing that just said you know where it says country you put any, or do I have to say like Vietnam, uh, Germany, or whatever, Russia. Sure. So let's forget about the economic part of the country, right? So just so for you know, just any any country, right? Because okay. Germany seems that that's not kind of what I had in mind. Oh, I see <laughs> what like, you're saying. I don't think like <laughs> I've I've actually never heard of a of a German mail order bride. Me neither. So, so I mean, like I get it, but let's can we pick Where? one perhaps? Yeah, Where do they come from? Josh, you want to you want to ask this one? I know <laughs> there's the Russian one, right? Hmm? It's, uh, it's, does it does Alabama count as a different country or? <laughs> well, kind of. I mean, no, that's, that, that, that would work. You know? Yeah. So, Josh, uh, what country would you pick? Uh, let, let's see. Uh, well, how about Ukraine? Ukraine. Okay. Yeah, it's European. Yeah. Ooh, you know what you. Kind of remind me of like a bootlicker. You like I would have met like <laughs> I think that you're like this all and powerful Oz at NASA, and then you come home and then you you just like yeah, I just need you someone just to be talked down to, and a little bit of yeah. blood goes to your pants. You're like, oh my god, yeah. you didn't do this right. Oh god, <laughs> oh boy, yeah. you know what I mean? Criticize like, me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's spots on these dishes. Oh, yeah. he's a bad boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so you can, and, and then what what would the age be? Oh yeah, uh, uh, I, I think tw- I think twenty nine. You know, since it came up earlier, I like the twenty because you know it's old enough to uh, uh, definitely have seen some shit, right? And probably learned some methods of punishment that would be. Uh, yeah, 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 I know you have that. Yeah. Uh, what do you have that African uh, flesh removal kit in your bedroom? Yeah, right, uh, yeah. I got what my man you? fork. It's a man fork. Yeah. yeah. It's a Fijian. It's a Fijian man fork. Right? Dang! Explain yeah, to Tim. Yeah, I've yeah. never even heard of this. You you want me to get it? I could get it. It's right outside the door. Sure. Yeah, I do. All right. So this is actually what they in Fiji. It's a, you know it's a, it's kind of a tourist thing now, but uh, <laughs> it's what they use to uh, you know rip the flesh off of their. Uh, Oh, is this like Enemies. a? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Rip the flesh. Okay, so it's not yeah. a. Um, 
a circumcising torture no, no, device. No, no, no. I mean, I, they may do that, uh, but you don't but survive they, this. You they, don't survive this they, procedure. Yeah. They stick. Yeah, the Fijians. The Fijians. The Fijians believed that uh, actually, if you killed your enemy and you buried their body under the uh, foundation of your house, you would imprison them in the afterlife, and they would become your eternal servants. So even in death, you still weren't. Uh, you still didn't get away. How do you pass that home inspection? <laughs> 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 All right. Is this well, a crawl space a situation? Backsplash, yeah. but there is a small odor coming from the kitchen. Now, <laughs> good news, it's your enemy. Right. Bad news, it's going to get into the wall, and as much <laughs> breeze as you spray, it's going to take about six months before that before he's dried out. But if you can sign right here, thanks to Doc, you sign. <laughs> was uh, was John Wayne Gacy uh, Fijian? I, Did I, he? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, like, yeah. He, is he, he, is he still doing people. birthdays? Is he still? I gotta. <laughs> I think he's uh, he's it's out of business. Agent. I feel bad for his agent. Is who I feel the worst for. You know, like guys trying to make ten percent, booking a clown. This guy's out murdering children or whatever. You know. Yeah, yeah, that is bad for business. Yeah, for yeah. clown business. That was the longest gap between videos ever. All right. Huh? 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 And success. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, an odd, <laughs> what an oh, odd, odd Bill shit shot shoe shot. So no, you know, <laughs> it is what I will become. Like the the Nine Inch Nails song that some hillbilly recovered. Recovered. <laughs> What's interesting is so when I first saw this video when I was vetting them, uh, I thought it was about his eyes because I thought they were just gonna get right, right, right. you know maybe he had that frog eye disease or whatever yeah, right that's just Medi medical the, condition the yeah medical yeah. frog eye yeah hi there my name is dr joe court and i'm going to give you reasons why straight men have sex with men they're not gay they're not bisexual my whole um specialty is with male sexual fluidity and um what i always say is that when women have a non-heterosexual thought we give her wiggle room, but we fetishize her. When men have a non-heterosexual thought, we stigmatize him and we tell him he's not straight. False, wrong, I really want to get rid of this myth. I really want to get rid of this stigma. And if you stay with my TikTok, you're going to hear all the reasons why straight men have sex with men. I'll see you later. Oh, that's not bad. I understand that completely. No, I... <laughs> wait, Josh, wait, Josh, wait. Expand on that, please. Well, what are you saying? You know, we for sure fetishize uh, when a lady has a, I guess, what would that be called? Like a homosexual right. thought, right? And then, then we're like, oh, look at you guys, huh? But if a dude has it, it's like, it's like black and white. There's no, there's no uh, space for it. Like, say if we ever get that TikTok going with like a, a guy with you know eight abs and and uh pectorials and i say that guy is shredded like lettuce he's swollen <laughs> if he was a uh <laughs> if he if he was a marvel character he'd be named swolverine you know or, or whatever <laughs> and then somebody would be like oh well, it looks like tim's got a little you know and then i would be stigmatized <laughs> But it's all right to be like that guy is a handsome fella, and you know what I'm saying. And I rest my case, prosecutor. You and T. <laughs> okay, so yes to all of that. All right. Okay, good. You know what I mean? Like obviously, I see a Versace ad in a magazine. I rip it out. I smell it. There's not even cologne in it. I just smell it. <laughs> yeah, you're just hoping. Bad. Yeah. So that's not that's <laughs> that's not it. But what he's saying is having sex with. Oh just, yeah, I, I glossed over that saying, part. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I got uh, plenty of friends. If I were, uh, if I I, I would uh, do the things that God said you're not supposed to do, but I do them and I do them well. That's and I right. have sure that if I do flip, that I would have sex with my male friends. Not unless we need to go over now. Especially since that's true. Yeah, actually, yeah, I see what you're saying there. But he's saying having sex with, so he's like, you know, 
That's it's called okay. going the distance. Well, that seems a little different than being like, wow, that guy, that guy is hot. Versus I like to uh, put my big sweaty cock in his ass. You know, like there's a little bit of a. Yeah, I, I guess that would be thought and then action. Yeah. There's yeah, a, yeah. there's some distance between those two. Oh, yeah. It's uh, about six inches. <laughs> <laughs> if you're average. Yeah. So, the, um, okay, here's here's the thing I'm going to say. I keep seeing these men on social media motivating others and inspiration, you know, inspiration bullshit that have hair plugs. Oh, hair old people. school hair plugs. And hair wigs, hair accessories. And I will say as the bald man that I do not respect you. Oh. And you obviously are an insecure little bitch. If you need to go and get spend all that money to put that stuff on your head, I never. the The more hair I lost, the stronger the more you women got. came out. Oh, <laughs> from the drunken bar stools and rocks. You know what I mean? So when I it's see all a man, because of Bruce Willis. Yeah, what, yeah. yeah, right, right. When and I'm obviously wearing a hat right now because I haven't, I haven't even shaved, let alone I, I just got internet. <laughs> They're related. My hooker goes. Uh, my hooker. My clipper hooked up to an app, but my hooker hooks up to my clamp. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yep. Hey, oh. you, got it. you got it. Hey, yeah. hey now. Hey now. Hey now. Did, it, did anybody else notice that uh, he said it, it, in the text, it said having sex Sith men? Oh, I did see that. So I don't. What is. Well, a, men who are men. Because here's the other thing. Like, I, I'm really all about the hair. I'm still about the hair, but if you have that, you're not really secure in who you are. And, and that makes you feel better to cover that up. I, I don't care, but I couldn't do business. I don't mean to go all Larry David, but I, I could not do business <laughs> with that man. Also bald. Yeah. You're right. Because looking at all I see is a man who was so insecure that he had to go change who he is physically to feel better about himself. Versus me, yeah, you throw a hat on and say, you know, you're either gonna, you know, whatever. Can I lay that can I lay on top of you or not? It's not that hard. <laughs> Here's free dating advice. If you ask a woman if you could uh do things to her, a lot of times she'll say yes. So so no raping, boys. <laughs> no rape. Ask, <laughs> ask, get a consent, don't rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, look at this. Uh, we have a uh, subway worker who looks like making an Italian who is nodding off directly into yeah. the cheesy bread. <sighs> I'm on oh. break. Oh. <laughs> I, but she's wearing her mask, though. Yeah. So I would like to acknowledge that. Yeah, that's right. That <laughs> although she is overdosing on heroin while making a sandwich, she's doing it while being COVID compliant. So, <laughs> you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I feel like if I was standing up and I fell asleep, it just wouldn't be as as sweet and slow as that. I feel like I would just fall over. It's kind of yeah. so it's peaceful. It's called nodding like off. Yeah. It's not called narcolepsy. Oh, true. <laughs> yeah. When I when I get tired, it's instant. Would you would you be willing to do uh meth for the show? If, no, I if I paid if I paid for the meth, well, I wouldn't. I you know, you got to protect yourself legally through several entities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have to write a check. But so, would you do a live meth episode? I feel like so. Heroin. My dentist would be would advise against it, mm -hmm. right? Because of the teeth. Does it? Is your dentist sense? a woman or a man? A lady. Yeah, because I. I the way you keep talking about your dentist is that she's like kind of hot. Is your dentist a little attractive? Like a little bit, even if she's a little, you know. Yeah, you keep yeah, mentioning she it. She's an attractive lady. Yeah. Yeah. I've been getting this vibe like you want to bang your dentist. Have I been talking about my dentist? <laughs> a little bit. I'll, you keep bringing her up for like, today. Just every time I talk to you, at least it's like, oh, <laughs> every oh, time I talk to you, oh, the dentist, I tell you. Oh, my God. She's I like, gotta go in for a teeth cleaning. Yeah. 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 I wonder how many women are like, eh, don't ask. Oh, the teeth are just. 
<laughs> and men and non cis Sith men. Yeah. Sith. Yeah. I'm pretty Sith. sure the guys That's who Star Wars. are men yeah. are are in fact um yay. I, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna say some controversial medical opinions. But if you're fucking another guy and you're enjoying it, it's all gay. <laughs> a <little> bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. You know, but the thing is, you have a hairpiece. You know, did that guy have, have a hairpiece? Terrible. I hate it. I can't. Stand I didn't it. even see him. I, I get this commercial where they're like, for finance, chest. you want to be a rich man? Blah, blah, blah. And he's got it. So he's all like ripped, but he's got the plug. So it's like, ah, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, don't not I, don't, I don't respect. Now, let's say you were, you were on your Ducati and you hit a pebble and you went off and you smashed, you left half your skull on the 101. You want hair? Fine. But if you just like went bald and you got plugs, I mean, I guess if you're an actor or something, it's like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> Although I did have sex with Stella Adler in a Ford Focus once, but we don't need to talk about that. Well, All right. She gave me notes after. She said, <laughs> I didn't commit. she said, I didn't know who you were when you were fucking me. <laughs> <laughs> I would never have done it. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you a life hack for a microwave. This is a life Instead hack. of doing 30 seconds, you know, <laughs> from going to, from the top to the bottom, just do this. 33. Three more seconds is not going to ruin your meal. And you don't have to go from way up here to way down here. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> now, uh, I think this is the exact person I hope my child does not become. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain to you that this is everything that's wrong with America. A good thing your fireworks are going off, right? <laughs> yeah. So this Cafu's went, instead of going from 3-0, goes 3-3, three, three, because it saves a bunch of time. You still got to hit that start button, which is right by the zero. Yeah. Right, on that you shit. still got to go down. Yeah. One might say, instead of, see that, see, instead of going boom, 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 you're going boom, boom, boom. Do they save any time? I really, but if you looked at her nails too, it's like someone someone in Massapequa had some extra time, you know. Now, how much time did she spend on the nails? I mean, that's... yeah, how much time did it take to do the video? Here, here's yeah. something. If you're if you're really you want that uh, Swiss precision, then perhaps uh, you know don't make that video. That video took up, <laughs> and I bet you that wasn't her first take. Yeah, oh, definitely not. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. She had to figure it out. She had to write the treatment. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. lock it out. Show it, yeah. Show yeah, it yeah. to she a couple friends. Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. <laughs> Who is the yeah. fatty arbuckle of, of our day? You're a Jerry Stahl fan. Check out I Fatty. It's a book. I bought it. I haven't read it. Oh, okay. It's a book. <laughs> that was pretty good. I that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> there was so much going on. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't awesome. expect Ooh, anything I. in the first five seconds of that. It's it's. It was so oh. much happening. Can we get a freeze frame yeah. on that? Let me get a nice clear. There's a clear. There we go. Okay. So, I love that his mouth is slightly ajar. Uh, yeah. So obvious chocolate joke, right? We get that. Yeah. If you could cut to his father's eyes right now. <laughs> Sometimes what's your, cool. son, what, what's your son? Uh, what's, he's probably got a name that's long. And he's like, How, how's your son long doing? Good. He's making, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's making videos. Oh, good. What are they about? Well, he, he takes a bunch of Mars products. <laughs> A little bit of crazy glue. But what am I watching? Now, this, whatever he did here with the chocolate, it, it's kind of cool. Uh-huh. But what's up with the machine gun? What is the, <laughs> what is, what does the machine gun thing have to do with, and his makeup, obviously, his eye makeup is quite, up, but what does that have to do with the machine gun? I think it's, it's like a, the perfect combination of complete randomness. Yeah. It's it's absurdity. Mm. Again, yeah. back to the Guggenheim. Yes, I'm at the Guggenheim. I'm in my yeah. penguin suit. Yeah, that one was surprising. I didn't. I hadn't watched that one before. 
uh, and yeah. that was surprisingly uh, delightful. <laughs> I haven't been on TikTok in like a month. I have, you know, so everything that we're watching, I batched in the middle of December. So <laughs> that's great. Keep me going. French fry, <laughs> tiny hand. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Like, like like a young king or queen. Pass so awesome. me the palm flick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the baby video of the week. Yeah, that was yeah. great. That was yeah. I like that. And now we know yeah. why they were there in the first place. So are you going to add music? Now don't forget. Uh, if I hear a tabla, I'll lose it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, I'll see what other uh, beat loop I have that I can quickly throw in there. We got about two minutes and twenty. I know what else we got? Throw something up. Oh, that I think the baby one was the last one. Unless you want to do a Timmy P. Oh, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we didn't get the one. The yeah, I got that one primed and ready to rock. All Here right. we go. This one is for Timmy P. There they go. I mean, there it goes. Oh. There it is. <laughs> oh, beautiful smile. Beautiful smile. Oh, I forgot to uh, look up what Venga means. I love the animation. Means, hell yeah, I guess. So. Now, I think I mentioned uh, on the last episode that those look <laughs> like they're bolted on. <laughs> they, do, they do not in any way resemble what I consider a natural looking uh uh breast yeah. anyway. so that that came like, out weird right I'm i like sorry. you to take that sound clip also <laughs> oh. <laughs> sorry this has been another somewhat successful episode of unnecessary talk with brian surges follow us at the things go to uh, www.poorlifechoices.tv follow us merch whatnot ending see you next week <laughs> <laughs> Done. All right.